When COVID hit, I started working from home. And what I really did was spend a lot of time reaching out to patients and families, whether it be through telephone and um, through messaging or through handwriting notes. I did a lot of handwriting of notes. It was a very effective way to reach out to families, to remind them that we're thinking about them, to just give them words of encouragement. The beauty that I saw in it was after the fact, um, I had families say, oh yeah, you were the one that sent us a note in the mail. That was meant so much. And so just doing those little things makes a big difference in a family who is stuck at home all day for a long period of time, worried about their child's health. One particular family who I had not met before COVID, I was corresponding with. And the mom reached out one day and said, hey, um, our daughter's about to have her birthday and we're gonna do a drive-by celebration, which is the norm in COVID. And she asked if somebody from Ask could be a part of it. And I asked my family and we decided to pack up our car one day and drive over. And we were part of her birthday bandwagon. And we rode through and made signs and waved and yelled happy birthday and really lifted her up on that day when they couldn't gather together with friends and family because of COVID. And it really made her day. And in fact, the mom came up to me afterwards and just said how much it meant to know that people who she didn't even know would come and offer support and just put a smile on their face for the day and really celebrate this sweet girl. And so that was one of the many blessings that I've had through this time of COVID where we connect with our families. The clinic is now letting people back in and slowly but surely we are seeing patients more and more often. And I have the privilege of being able to come back in and actually be face to face with families again, which I can tell you is just a, a wonderful blessing for me. I'm back to seeing patients and offering that level of intimate support that they need during treatment when life is so difficult, when questions just come up, when the struggle is very real each and every day. Visitors are being restricted still on the inpatient side in particular, and so the family isn't getting as much one-on-one um, -on -one support from other family members or friends, and so they really rely on other people to offer that support, and that's a lot of where I come in, is to be a steady presence in their life while they're inpatient or while they're in the clinic. I just want to say thank you so very much for your support. Uh, because of your generosity, I get to spend my days um, trying to make the journey of treatment for cancer a little bit easier for families. I get to provide a level of support where we reach hands out and draw people close in a way that says we care about you and you are not on your own. We are in this together. And so thank you for your generosity today and always, and we appreciate you greatly.